Okay, um, hi guys. This is going to be a really fast video. Um, I'm going to kind of show you something about Murano Glass. You know, I see a lot of this kind of stuff showing up on Craigslist, and I always have a certain amount of suspicion that when someone says something is actually Italian hand blown or could be Murano, and you know is selling it for what I consider to be a fairly stupid price, that do they not know what it is, or are they trying to pull off some funny business? So I, I found an example that I think is interesting and I thought you guys might like to, s to to take a look at it. So what we have here is an art large glass purse vase. Someone basically decided to shove every possible keyword into the title. They're calling it Italian, they're calling it ham blown. Amber collier wavy 10 inch. <laughs> yeah, basically going out going hog wild there with all the keywords just trying to you know obviously attract people to, to this. Um, what we have here is one of what we can suppose to be a Murano glass purse, although they don't actually call it Murano, they just said it was made in Italy. Who knows, really? And the problem with this is that I do not for a second believe that this is Murano. I don't think it's actually even from Italy. I think it's probably a Chinese knockoff. And here is why. So the first kind of indication that I've got going on here is that that, that ripple effect does not look right. Um, Murano glass purses. Okay, I'm going to show you a few in a second. They look up. They have a particular look and feel to them. This does not seem to me anyway to look legit. It doesn't look like Murano. But let's start. First of all, Murano art glass purses. Now I have seen a couple of these showing up, even on Craigslist. Like, but I've seen. I've actually seen that tiger stripe one showing up on Craigslist. <laughs> I didn't get to it, by the way. I didn't get to it in time. I wish I had had. But the Murano glass purses, they're, they're an actual thing, they're art glass, they're vases, they're just there for decoration, and they have a very, they have a specific kind of style about them. They're basically, like if you took a Murano vase and then turned it into a purse, you know, you can see here there's a lot of these millefori or, or marine style, they have a lot of these kind of speckled glass or, or splattered glass. Um, the, the stripes is one that shows up quite a bit. And I personally, if I see another one of these, I've got to get it because I, I'm kind of a, it's just, I love the look of it. It's so, it's so kitschy, but that zebra stripe, I'm just, I'm, I'm really in love with it. It's just so cool. <laughs> anyway, these, these are what my real Murano art glass purses look like. And gotta say, they don't look like this thing. This looks boring in comparison. So let's, let's go on again. Let's do another search. Murano art glass ripples. Now here I've done the search already. And you can see that a bunch more stuff has shown up, but the first one here is, well, take a look, that one looks kind of familiar. That's a very familiar look and feel, isn't it? So if we click on through, go to Pinterest, this was selling for $30, whatever is out of stock right now. We don't know if it was actually sold or what. This is on Etsy. And here you go, here's the purse. Now, here's another one. This actually says, yes, it is Murano, art glass handbag vase, Italian blow slap, ripple wave, blah, blah, blah. Again, shoving all the keywords in here. Ah, it's vintage from the 1980s. And this is, again, it's a fabulous vintage red Murano art glass vase, uh, shaped like a handbag, um, stylish ripple, handmade blown glass object. And it says, could be a unique specimen. <laughs> it's not, it's absolutely not. We have the proof right there. Okay, so part of the reason that I'm very suspicious about this particular, th this purse, and definitely this purse as well, is because to me it looks like both of these are blown glass or not sorry they're not blown glass they look like they're they're pressed glass basically they look like they came out of a mold like you can see here these these ripples in fact if we just zoom in on the Im oh, this is my okay my wife is not going to work you can see if we if we look at the image these ripples here look weird they look very specific and if i look here they look almost exactly like this pattern that we see here on this. And that, to my mind, is like sign number one that, that both of them came out of the same mold. They're not legit at all. They are not hand blown. The other thing that kind of makes me kind of suspicious about them is, is this opening on top. You see the shape of that. If you look here and compare like with like, you can see that that top looks very, very similar. <laughs> Do similar, in fact. The thing about Murano art glass, and any kind of art glass that's kind of hand blown, is that it will be, it will be different. It will not be suspiciously the same. Like there will always be differences. There'll be imperfections. There will be variations between pieces. Like I can even tell you this. Like I have 
uh, like my very expensive Murano, uh, my Fratelli Tosso red vase, the antique from the 1900s, I have seen a picture of another one, okay? And I can tell that it's not the same one because although it's the same shape and the same color, the patterns of the marines in there are completely different. You can always, always tell if something is hand blown, even if the same person makes it in the same day, they will come out different. They will not be identical. Now, the other reason I'm desperately suspicious about, th about these is that right there. So let's take a look here. The base here. And we don't have a very good picture, but you see that the pontal is, uh, the pontal, by the way, that is the supposedly the mark where someone would have, uh, like, you would have stuck this basically on the end of um, a, the big stick thing. The punt? I'm not, punty? I'm not sure. Glass blowers use a big stick and they stick the glass on the end of it. And that is the thing that the glass sits on while they're doing all the shaping and other nonsense. And the when it gets cracked off, when the piece is finished, that is the scar that's left and it's called the pontal mark. Uh, I'm not good with the last terminology, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. That's what it is. Now, the weird thing is that this one, you can see it just, the, there's the, the scar there. And uh, to be honest, it, for, to me, it looks very strange. Like, if it was Murano, that does, just does not look right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just does not look right. The fact that there's this raised edge around it and then that there, I'm like, what an... Or how, how, what what kind of glass blowing technique caused this to happen? Th that's why it just it doesn't look right. And then I've heard that when you're actually doing when people are actually faking Murano, they will grind what looks like a fake pontil into the base. That's what I think this is. Especially when I look at this, and I see that that just doesn't look right. That looks especially the carved bits down there. That looks like someone essentially just ground that into the base of this of this. It's not like this isn't hand blown at all. In any way, it's a mold. It's totally coming out of a mold. And this person here is, I don't know, confused maybe? <laughs> and it's possible they're confused as well, that maybe they just think it's Murano or they think it's Italian and hand blown or whatever you want to call it. But they're not, they're definitely not. And admittedly, I am not an expert in any way. Just this looks wrong. This totally looks wrong. It looks ass backwards. I, ugh, no. So basically, here you go. Here is what may be some kind of art glass purse, but it's not hand blown. It's probably not Italian. I would say it's probably not even worth 20 bucks because this kind of stuff generally isn't. Like you can walk into a thrift store and find these kind of terrible knockoffs, I'd say for about $10 if you're lucky. If that, you know, really floats your boat. 30 bucks, I don't know. I kind of hope that they got 30 bucks for it because I don't think it's even worth 10. So make it that what you will. Anyway, this was found literally just by doing a quick Google search, looking for ripples and then just finding an item which is identical to it. It's um, sometimes the Google foo is really, really easy. So I hope that this has been uh, like instructive or at least interesting or something. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Okay. And have a good day. Bye bye.